At the time that I started at Google X, it was a super secretive division, so secret that even within Google, nobody knew that it existed. Sometimes I would joke as the Department of Science Fiction. My name is Tom Chi. I'm the CEO of Factory X, this initially secretive division in Google now public that is kind of focused on inevitable technologies. So things where, hey, you know, it's inevitable that cars will drive themselves. Well, you know, how come? Well, because computers are just more vigilant. And if you think about it, like one thing about the car is that they look 80 meters in all directions 60 times a second. And I don't know about you, but I kind of look in like one direction a couple times a second. So the computer is probably going to kick my ass at that. My first job was as an astrophysicist at age 15. Leading up to that, I was very excited about uh, space. And, you know, in the process of doing that, you're going to watch like your Star Trek. One of the most interesting impacts was uh, around racial and social diversity. Seeing a place where everybody kind of got along and they were all team members trying to go do something that was for the larger good of humanity was probably the most interesting bit. I mean, there's like little nerdy science things. That's great. But, uh, but I, I really think it's like that feeling that in the future that we could all get along and work together. One component of science fiction is about like technological breakthroughs. And I think that's what most people are kind of looking for science fiction to look at. It's like, oh, imagine, you know, like Minority Report, we're controlling all our computers like this, which by the way is a terrible idea. But outside of things like that, like the technological stuff, I think another thing that science fiction does is it asks us to imagine different societies. What would it be like in a world post-work or post-money? What would it be like in a world where a particular attribute of human uh, psychology or behavior became the dominant attribute? So I think like the psychological questions of science fiction are at least as compelling as the technological ones.